out again, night time again. Oh, these late nights, early nights, whatever you want to call them. Um, a bit different this one. Do coastal camp on the coast. Let's find the pitch. Moon, a big moon. Uh, if I can find a pitch, I've got someone in mind. There's loads of fishermen about fishing, doing what fishermen do. So I'm hoping that my little spot I've got in mind is out of their way. I'm in my bivy, so I'm like, it's a little bit stealthy this, because uh, there's a few people about, and it's a popular spot. So it's a little bit of a stealth camp. Aye. I can do stealth camps as well, you know. You know. I'm gonna find out anyway. That's a nice night. A bit windy like, but with your bag, so that doesn't matter if it's windy. Aye, not bivy bag, it's a, a snug pack bivy. Alright, we'll come back one bit further along because there's some good there. Uh, some good moon action look. It's putting a lovely casting a lovely light on the sea and the, the lighthouse. Thinking about here. This was where I had in mind. So I come in sometimes come here on my bike, do a big long bike ride, park here and have a just sit and ponder really. Just look out for the horizon. St. Mary's Lighthouse. Ah, oh, the zoom's not working on this. I've got it on the wrong setting. Big old moon. I think the tide's coming in. I am quite high up on the cliffs. I was looking at it down there, but it's not, not flat. It's a bit lumpy. Oh, it'd be great down there. It's out the wind as well. Oh, the wind's really picked up. It's come out of nowhere. That's because I'm out. Hey, <laughs> definitely because I'm out. Yeah, they've uh, they've stripped the lighthouse. They, they were painting it up, doing it up. So it's all. I'll have a look in the morning. See how nice and clean it is now. But yeah, I think I'll just pitch here. Just here, like. Good as out, right? We'll get this done and we'll come back. It's gonna be a funny one this like. I've only got ration packs again tonight, so you know, though I'm beers and cooking. A few beers though. Well this is my patch, this is my view. So, like we said before, we'll have a look at that in the morning, the lighthouse, see what they've done. Tight coming in. It's a tiny kind of, uh, spot like. Biffy bag, snug pack, strat. Good bag this. If you like confined spaces, mind. It's not for the claustrophobic. I'm put my pillow in it. Put mat there. Light to a mat. This is getting popular. The light to a mat. It's uh, and it's a good mat as well. See, I've been using this for months. Uh, Rob 900. I don't think I'll need that. It's pretty warm. I'll keep it covered. Right, so that's it. Just pegged in. So what I'm going to do is just sit myself down and have a beer. Put the radio on. And I'll get the food out later. If it rains, I've had it. <laughs> I've looked at the forecast. And it shouldn't rain. But it might, you know, you never know. It's windy, so it might bring some cloud over. This is the, the sky. Starry, but the big moon's washing out the, the what do you call it? The sky, it's washing out the stars. So, we'll come back when I've had a few beers. Talk some rubbish. Just a bit sketching out because there's a car park over there. 
there's people walking along with dogs, you know dog walkers, the path's just here. But I'm heading out the way. There's no way they can see me unless I put my uh, head torch on. And luckily, that big old moon there means I don't have to put my head torch on too much. So that's a bit of a result. The downside is, it's also lighting us up. <laughs> but I'm all in black, so. Shouldn't be a message, really. You can make us out, can't you? I'm all in black. Like the SES, Saturdays and Sundays. That's me. So yeah, here I am, on Z Cliffs, next to Z Letes. Good, I like it. Just hope nobody comes and uh, ruins it. I'll just tell them to sort off, you know what I mean? I'm a local lad around here, so I'll just tell them where to go and get out of it. Get out of it! And the good thing is, there's a lot of fishermen around here, so if anybody does see the head torch, if I put it on, they'll just think I'm a fisherman. So it's actually a bit of a result. There's somebody fishing off the rocks, right? I'll turn you around. I don't think you've got to see. Off the rocks there, right? With the red light, underneath the red light, there's a head torch there. What on earth? You know the tide's coming in, mate. Are hey, you mate? Are hey, you mate? The tide's coming in, and he's gonna get cut off. Because that is, unless it's a boat. I don't know, I can't see. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Right. I'm sitting out here in the dark. I've got a, another light lighting me up. Not very well, I might add. A bit bright. Oh, it's too bright. But I've got another head of torch. This is the um, Flex Tail. I've got a new one. I brought this out a little while back, but um, the maid, the maid us, the ones that gave out, the maid would take them back in, not not like mention them, because they had a few tweaks to make and. I'll talk about the tweaks that they made. So it's as light as a feather. This is called the Zero, the Helio Zero head torch. So I've got a tiny Helio, the tiny Helio 600Z. Tiny Helio sounds like a, um, some sort of like uh, <laughs> like a Spanish, a Spanish blog, doesn't he? A Latino, a Latino, a tiny, tiny helio. Anyway, there reckon it's 2.1 ounces, right? 2.1 ounces. There's no way in it. It's as light as a feather. 600 lumens. I'm just reading off the, uh, the thing here because I'm getting old, so the mind's gone. Six lighting modes, right? I'll show you them. 650 milliamp battery and a 900 battery, so you can get a. Um, you can actually buy a spare battery for it, like a 900 one, so it'll last longer, obviously. IP69 waterproof protection, 60 degree adjustable, right? So what you do is, I don't know if you can see it, it's a tiny little thing. It's got two two buttons on the top, so you double click it, right? And that's your, that's your flood mode, so it's as bright as it gets. Turn that one off. It's bright, isn't it? Plenty bright, like. If you press and hold it, uh, I press and hold it. That's it. Turns to red. You got a red light. The red light's really useful. I like the red light on a on a head torch. So much better for around camp head torch with red light on it. So that's useful. Press it again, and it's your flashing red. It's emergency. Emergency. Better turn that off because I'm right on the coast. On the other side, there's another button. There's another button on the other side. And this is the flood. Uh, sorry, the spot beam. That first one was the flood. So that's the spot. You see the spotlight? And again, that's got, you know, you just keep pressing it and that's got different modes. So, yeah, double click. Click. Flood, and you can have them both on if you double click both sides. It's bright as that, that like. But yeah, man, I tell you, it's very, very light. You don't even know you've got it on your head. 
that's the thing. So it's got this like uh, elasticated draw cord. I'm trying not to plumbing drown out the light, see? Elasticated, I mean it's basic, it's dead simple. It's a proper simple design. We've got this thing on the back here is your adjuster. So you just put it on and you just pull that and it'll tighten onto your head. Alright, so here you go. The Helio 600. And like they say, it does that. It's got the angles, it does the angle thing. The battery goes in there. Might just unscrews these a coin or something to get that out, the battery. Change interchangeable battery. It's got a Type C charger, so it's rechargeable. But you know, if you get if you get a spare battery and it dies, um, and you've got the the spare, you just put the spare battery in. Not all rechargeable head torches can do that. So you just go on the Flextail website, and they'll uh, and you'll be able to see what they've got there for it. You can buy the battery. By the head torch it's cheap you know i think it's about 20 20 odd quid it's not a lot of money really. i'll find out it's uh maybe i'll find out the problem is the page i've brought up doesn't have the prices on the helio or oh, 25 pound it's 25 quid so right that's it so i, I have to show this off Double click it there, and it's really bright. I'm up here now, oh, like it's great for just making sure I don't go over the edge of the cliff there. The Helio 600, unbelievably light. I've never known anything weigh so little. It's just nothing in it. It's honestly, feel you don't know you've got it on your head. Right, so there you go. Loads of modes, loads of modes, mode, mode city. Right, so I'm just sitting here now, just chilling out, got the radio on, contemplating have something to eat. I'm not really hungry. See when I'm when I'm not camping far away from home, I don't really uh I have something to eat in the house and then I come out and I'm not really that hungry. I'm having a couple of beers like. A couple of beers. I'll do some impressions later. I probably won't, uh, but that's it really. Yep, so there you go. I'm just gonna sit and chill out again. Some Gordon Ramsay. I've got the uh, Fire Maple, Mars Radiant. This is a brilliant store, this. Like, I'm sorry, like, what it is. Got Indonesian style spicy rice with pork, right? Right? I can have that. Put it in here, just let that hot heat up. Got the extreme gas today. Because I thought it was going to be cold, but it's mild. It's like, I don't know, it's like 11 degrees or something. Got some right noise coming from over there, like the car park. All the cracker jacks. All the lads in the cars. All the boy racers giving it the begin. Yeah, they look absolutely. They'll not be there all night. See that light there? That is so bright. It's a boat. It was over over here. Oh, it was over there before, and I thought it was somebody standing on the pier, shining a torch. But it's a blooming boat. It's so bright. All right, anyway. I'm going to get this boil in. I'm going to try the Crag Scrambler's method of putting it in. Um, turn the gas off. Turn it on again. On and off, you know. You see, put the gas on and off. And it will heat it up. So the residual heat of the original boil will heat it. And then once it starts getting cool, you heat it up again. Apparently it saves gas. So we'll try that. Good tip, actually. Right. This is it. This is my tea. Looks like uh, 
Bobby's nappy. Bobby's nappy. Hey, get a nice bit of Bobby's nappy doing ya. Man, let's try. Ah. Mmm, tell you what, for Bobby's nappy, it's nice, man. Tasty. Uh, Craig, Craig scrambler was reet. So I heated it up, right? I heated the water up. And it was bubbling. And then I turned the gas off. And I just let it uh, sit in the hot water. And then I turned it back on for about another five minutes. And let it sit in the hot water. So I saved a load of gas there. Rather than just have it on a rolling boil. Much better. Good idea. Nice one, Craig Scrambler. He's been a uh, subscriber for a long time. Got the light of the silvery moon. The light in the power at night. Don't need the head torch. The lighthouse is lit up. The fishermen are fishing. The birds, they are a calling. Everything's good in the world tonight. I think smoke is gonna sing. Right, I'm going to have this, uh, chill out for a bit and then we'll come back after we've had all this, right? Right, right, right. Tell you what, right, this is lovely, this. This ration pack, Indonesian, Korean rice. Import, beautiful. Why are your ration packs so good now? Never used to be. It used to be bloody awful. But uh, lovely now, mmm. I could eat this in the house. <laughs> Just thought I'd say that. Just thought I'd say it. Coming right up the edge of the cliffs of doom. down on the beach tonight who said that dolly parton as um the tide has gone out that's why that, that lad's all right over there on the rocks like the tide's out the river's retreating it's not going to be back in until 2 39 so i'll be through the night so it might be up in the morning when i get up i'm hoping to get up for an epic sunrise there's been some lovely sunrises lately this is a good time of year for it isn't it Sunrises, as Rolf Harris said, sunrise, she bring in the morning. There's a little path of doom down there. Loads of seaweed on the beach. Millions of seaweed. I'll just show you where I am. Though. I'm. Uh, if you walk along here, like <whistles> casually walking along here, you would tend to go that way, wouldn't you? But if you go this way. Come across a strange man lying in the grass. Look at us. Look at me. Oh, that's some bloody crazy people beeping their horns. Why are you beeping your horn? Why? Shut up, man. Uh, so I'm there in the grass. Radio 2 on, DJ Spoonie. Some good tunes. Nice and relaxing. I might get in my bag shortly. I'm gonna have this last beer, get in the bag, and uh, watch a bit of YouTube. Who do you like to watch on YouTube? Who's your preferences? I like I like the, some of the camping videos. I like Mesner, Beavers. I watch Beavers. Dave Miles, I watch him still. M's Adventures, I do watch her, even though she thinks I don't. Patrick Dickinson, uh, English Woodsman. MCM Outdoors. Ah, oh, there's so many, isn't there? I do actually watch a lot of YouTube. But I also watch uh, Wild Bear as well. She's been to, you know. Have a look at the Wild Bear. People say, oh yeah, oh yeah, for obvious reasons, the Wild Bear. Come on, man. I'm a 60 year old man. I don't watch Wild Bear for obvious reasons. I watch Wild Bear because she gans out in some ridiculous conditions. 
She's worse than me. She gets worse weather than me. And that's saying something. That's why I watch her. She's hardcore, man. Nothing to do with, oh, she's a young, attractive girl. Aye. And I'm an old fella. How are you, man? Gives a bit of credibility. Uh, tell you. Don't get these people who say that, you know. Why? Uh, why do you watch her? Why do you watch her? Watch her for the content. And that is all. And she's got a great, just a great presenting style, good personality. She could be on the telly, yeah, like. Anybody who thinks other than that, just get in the sea. There's the sea, get in it, you know what I mean? Anyway, that's enough of that. Um, I watch wood turning videos as well. I watch them. People doing wood turning. It's unbelievable. It's amazing. I love the bit where they, uh, they put the whatever they're making out of wood, and sometimes they use resin, and they put it on the um, on the lathe, and they're spinning it, and they polish it. I love that. I love to see them polished. <laughs> Is that weird? I like watching uh, when the car spray painting as well. It's lovely, it's satisfying. I like satisfying videos. Anyway, that's enough ranting on and talking rubbish. I've got a hell of a view here, like. it's amazing. That lighthouse looks so far away, it's really a lot closer than it looks on this video camera. On the screen I'm looking at, anyway. Right, I'm gonna get laid on my bag because as I'm laying down, I'm out the wind. Got the, the radio on, that's good music there, Spoony. Um, and then just finish that beer. Let's we'll get in. This bag's good. Just peg down there. You just peg it in there. It's nice walk material, you know. Part of us hopes it does rain, and then we can, we can have a nice uh, pit of patter on the thing. I don't think it will, though. Don't think it will. I'm in me tomb, me tomb of doom. Aye, I mean, I mean, with the the light on in the loft, the little gear loft that you get with this. Ah, oh, there's a lot of boy racers about, skiddly diddling around in their little cars, in the little cars of terror. But uh, doesn't matter. I've got earplugs. I'll put them in. I've got. Did I mention I had it? Like, I'm bunged up, I've got a real bad cold coming on. Not COVID, right? It's not COVID, it's just a cold. I'm sniffing and I've got a bit of a sore throat. It's just a cold. Uh, so, uh, it's about half ten now. So I just made the most of the night. I just sat, you know, I just sat watching the stars in the sky. It was nice. It's a nice light. Just that, it's just the wind is just not a problem though, because we've got the the bivvy is brilliant in the wind. You don't get any, you don't get any trouble from it at all. Nice and low profile, you know. We've got the sound of the sea, and uh, well, that's it really. Nice and comfortable, nice and warm in here. Um, I've got the. I've got the, the mesh open, you know, like you can zip it, to, you can zip the um, the whole thing up to be like totally rainproof, but you can have it with the mesh open as well. It's like a double, it's like a double zip thing. So hopefully I won't need to zip it up. Doesn't that means it won't rain? But yeah, <laughs> it's like I'm in the cave, isn't it? You know, and people go caving. In the nutty putty cave. If you know what that is, then that's awful, wasn't it? But tomorrow I'm gonna go for a nice big hike, me and Em's adventures. She's uh she's dog sitting again the night, that's why I'm out on my own. She's got them dogs all the time. Um but yeah, we're gonna go for a big hike tomorrow. Uh you can 
have a look at the bit that progress on Instagram. Oh. Instagram stories will be like this video won't be out for two weeks after filming it. I've got another video to publish before this one. I mean, we and Rab went last week, so you'll have seen that one by now. Um, but that's it, really. Just gonna, just gonna get out and have a slash Gordon as you do. Uh, that's in it. That's another one of the video. Another channel I watch is Blot. I watch Blot outdoors all the time. Uh, he he cheers us up. I'm hoping I'm hoping to get out with him shortly. And I he's busy. He's busy doing all kinds of stuff. But uh, yeah, we'll get out again. I'll take me sub aqua gear this time. I'll have something to eat before we start drinking. That's that's what the problem was. You've got to eat before you have a drink. Um, so yeah, so we'll see you in the morning. Hopefully, it'll be a lovely sunrise. And well, that's it really. Right, I'll catch you later. Oh, <laughs> well, it's the morning. One did not sleep well. Uh, tossing and turning. I'm full of cold, you see. A sore throat. Probably not the greatest idea to come camping in the bivy bag when you're full of cold. But yeah. <sighs> anyway, I thought I would shook it off by coming out. Kill the cold, you know. The cold kills the cold. That's my theory. A big vessel out there. That's the lighthouse stripped of its uh, scaffold. I don't think the light works. I don't it's actually got a light on it, so it's just a house. The windmill, it's just a windmill. Sun's coming up over there, but I think there's a big cloud bank ruining that. There's already people here milling about, loads of people, doggers. Uh, so I'm just getting packed up any minute. I'm gonna get away before they all start arriving. A few more things to put away. See, it got me like to a mat in the original tiny. You can do it. You can do it if you put your back into it. Right, we'll come back when we're ready. Hopefully, get a bit more sunrise. Aye, it's not happening like. You know what it is? All week when I've been going to work, it's been the most amazing sunrises. <laughs> Come here to the prime location. This happens. Anyway, not worry. Right, I'm packed up, ready. This is where I was. Just my flat shape, flat grass. Got my rubbish bag in there. Got my rubbish bag in the top there. Everything's in there. Oh. So yeah, that was a strange one. Well, I got up in the middle of the night. At the water was right up here, right up to there, and the waves were bashing, it was wild. <laughs> it was a right swell. All that was covered. Everything except the island was covered. It's mad. So I hope that fisherman got off there, I'll read. I'm sure he did. Anyway, so, see there's people arriving here, there's people just walking past all the time. That's why I'm away early. So remember to like this video. I'll come and hunt you down and I'm going to leave you with some words of wisdom finished with me woman because she couldn't help us with me mind who said that? Ace Ace Lemon from Motorbike I'm telling you man I'm a genius <laughs>